Yo, what's good, guys? Your boys here from Trip Gaming. Coming at you guys with another video. All right, so for the next month, I love doing pendulum videos. If you're here for anything about pendulum, sorry, it's not happening. Pendulum videos all day for the next month until we actually realize it's the best deck. So, without further ado, new pendulum combo for negates. Four negates, first turn. Your first electrode needs to resolve. If it does not resolve, it does not matter. You just get three uh, interruptions, three negates instead. So, uh, if you guys go check my first video I made on the whole theory of the deck. Uh, the theory is the most important. When you understand the theory of the deck, you understand how the deck works. Uh, the deck consistently puts up three negates now, consistently, uh, through any hand trap. So, uh, the Electrum's useless now. If The Electrum's only there for plusing. But Electrum does help you get a fourth interruption, as I'm going to show you guys in this combo. So, this combo is a way to show you how one Electrum still equals four, uh, three negates and a Tornado Dragon. So, or whatever, in four. But anyway, so... Just showing you guys in the replay here. Just uh, I was playing on dueling book, and uh, just testing the deck out. So, uh, the the this is my hand. This is my hand. The plan. This hand right here. The game plan is now. There's a new game plan. As you guys saw, it's one card interruptions. We didn't draw any. We draw two one card interruptions. Uh, Bambuku, which can turn into Totem Bird if you wanted to, and Terraforming, which would turn into Persona Dragon, which is a one card interruption. So, we open two. We open an extender in Curtain Razor, so it's a decent hand. It's not the best hand. It's not the best hand in the world, but it's a good hand. It's decent. Uh, we don't have a Magicians yet right now, so we're going to have to search for one with Electrum. But nonetheless, it's a decent hand. So I'm going to show you how this hand turns into four negates with the new ban list. This hand right here turns to four negates. So the game plan here would be I'm going to pen summon a Bambuku. I'm going to bring out an Echo Mata, so I'll get a Totem Bird. I'm going to... Persona Dragon, I'm gonna make a rank four. So this right here would be like just looking at it would be a Persona Dragon, a Totem Bird, uh, and a rank four play. But uh if you go out of your way to search for a harmonizing magician, uh that could actually lead that would actually lead to uh a vortex, a tornado, uh a persona dragon and another interruption. So like four interruptions in total. So you just gotta go uh, harmonizing is very important. Uh before harmonizing was not important, and now harmonizing is very important. Uh, you might have to go out of your way for it. So, uh, I go Electrum. Uh, if he hand trapped me here, it's totally fine. We have Iris. We're going to still have two, three interruptions anyways. That's the beauty of, uh, like, if you hand trapped us right here, we had two, three interruptions anyway. So, it didn't matter. Uh, the way you play the deck now is a bunch of one-card interruptions. Like I said, like, Sky Iris gives you a one-card interruption or any scale you need. So, Iris is officially uh, one of the new MVPs. So, uh, we're not even going to, yeah. So, we popped the gate zero there. We're going to have the Persona Dragon. And we wanted to put the zero in the extra because it's a level seven. We want to bring out the seven. We get bring out no lore. Now the lore does give us a harmonizing, but it doesn't matter because we could have got a harmonizing if we wanted to. But like the the whole the whole turn right here it wasn't gonna the whole uh, first turn here wasn't gonna uh, be revolved around harmonizing. It was gonna be revolved around a Bambuku, Persona. We're gonna have double Persona. Like uh, it wasn't revolved around the harmonizing. We did top. We did draw the harmonizing. It's not important. We didn't need the harmonizing, but the harmonizing does help us uh, bring in a vortex and set up, for example. Like a Naruto. So I was going to see the, the cool play I'm going to do here. It's a very, very interesting combo. That uh, if you have access to Harmonizing, you can do it all the time. So uh, we bring out open Black Fang. Black Fang is going to be relevant now. I'll show you what happens. So we're going to pen. Uh, we're going to pen. Make sure. You, you got to be very careful what you pen summon. Because Harmonizing can't. You can't XYZ with the Dark Worm, right? So we're going to pen out a Magician level 4 and a 0. So pay close attention here, okay? Pay close attention. Because this is, uh, this is going to be the new combo. My bad, let me refix this. Alright, so this is gonna be the new combo you guys are about to see. Uh it's gonna I'm gonna show you how uh you go with one electron for interruptions without three, but anyways. So we penned out the persona that we got from Sky Iris, the harmonizing, the level the wisdom, which you're gonna access to all the time. And if you open Dark Worm, you're gonna have zero. And you have like five ways uh well, you have four foolishes, three worms, and seven ways to go into Dark Worm on your first turn. So this is what you're gonna pend out. One of your fifty million one card interruptions in persona, which you're gonna get with Sky Iris. The wisdom that you're gonna have anyways because wisdom's gonna be floated around or you're gonna search one of the legend we don't have and the harmonizing. So this is how it's gonna look but when you pen summon. You're gonna have open black fan because wisdoms are gonna be running rampant, right? And then you bring up the janky magician. If you run desire uh, well you're gonna run, you have to run desires now. Desire is absolutely incredible. Uh the new pot card by the way sucks because uh, uh it sucks for pendulums because you can't banish your extra deck. because uh, uh what if you randomly banish like a vortex and electrum and it's like your play might be over and like a totem bird and you have bambukus like you know what i mean so you can't put the new pot in pendulums but the new pot is good for cards uh, decks like brickstar or even draco to be honest uh but anyways uh moving on here so 
you do need to play double janky in case you banish a janky with the desires. And just like that, now we have two sevens. We have two fours and a persona. So just by looking at this, you see three interruptions, right? You see three interruptions, very simple. You just go Vortex Dragon, you go Omega or whatever you want, Harmonizing and Wisdom to be, and you have a one-card interruption. This is why one-card interruptions are so important. You only have five five slots to summon, right? If you're going to have an Electrum up here, you only have five. So one needs to be a one-card interruption, and then the other, you just XYZ. So for example, Harmonizing will lead to one with Harmonizing Wisdom or whatever, or whatever you bring out, Harmonizing, and then Janky and uh, the zero. So you see three over here. This is why one-card interruptions are so important, because there's not enough space. So you need literally one card interruption to be able to have five monsters on board to equal three interruptions. But you got to be a little a little slick here. We're going to be a little slick with our move. We're going to want to absolute over here. Uh, we don't play Metaltron. We might in the future, but at the moment we don't. So we're going to go to the Land Palakas, whatever that card is called, and bring out the Vortex Dragon. Now we're going to get even more slick. So you still see three, right? You see three interruptions. Maybe you go into Dweller, red, 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 whatever here. Instead, no. We're going to go to Tornado Dragon, and here's where the combo is. Your Tornado Dragon, you pop your own Black Fang. So you pop your own Black Fang on your first turn, bringing out Janky Magician, which is another one-card interruption, and boom. Just like that, you got four interruptions. You got a Janky Magician, Tornado Dragon, Persona, and Vortex on your first turn. So even with one Electrum, the deck still puts up four interruptions. Even with one. That turn was not a special turn. It was not a special turn. Uh, It was literally just a completely average turn. Yeah, we did top, we did draw the Harmonizing, but... Even if we didn't draw the harmonizing, we got gotten three interruptions. If we could have gone into harmonizing, we could have searched the harmonizing. We could have searched the harmonizing, but we didn't. We could have searched the harmonizing and done this exact same board. But we were playing it safe, because three interruptions is still uh, like uh, still auto-win. If you guys saw my very first video, you, you heard me say anything more than three options is, is uh, just overkill. Anything more than three interruptions is overkill. So this is just style points, putting in four interruptions, but you don't need four interruptions. Three is enough to win. Three is enough to win. So we didn't want to go overboard to search the harmonizer. We could have sent harmonizing to search it. Or we could have saved the iris. Saved the oaf dragon. Like this wisdom over here could have been a harmonizing if we really wanted to. Like it didn't matter. We could have. I wanted to add wisdom for another follow up. But if we had oaf, dra uh, oaf dragon wisdom and with sky iris. We pop the harmonizing. We brought out with the wisdom. And then oaf dragon add back the harmonizing. We're still going to have a harmonizing. So we didn't want to go other way. We just wanted the follow up to be better. So, like I said, three uh, even if we didn't draw the Harmonizing, we could have got the Harmonizing by Iris popping the the Harmonizing that we brought up with Wisdom and then uh, Oaf adding it back to your hand. So, even, regardless, regardless of us drawing Harmonizing, we could have got Harmonizing. But, again, like I said, three interruptions, three interruptions was all I was going for when I was starting this combo, when I was playing this guy. Anything else is you'd rather in your hand. So, now if you look at your next turn, you're gonna be st your next turn you're going to be starting with three cards from the card you draw. You're going to be starting to... Bambuku is going to give you another Bambuku, so it's four cards. Oaf is still there. Oaf is going to give you another card, but you're starting with five cards in your next turn. It's like you're starting a whole new hand. Like, you have five cards. And all the utility in the... Ex like, the extra deck still has all the links for utility. So, anyways, that's the first turn. Uh, just normal. This is a complete, nothing special. We did we drew nothing incredible. It was just a normal, normal hand. So, we're facing Pendulums. Uh, I guess you saw Trip Gaming on Dueling Book and wants to play Pendulums against me. You got Cerberus, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna pop it with Tornado, because, uh, Cerberus could do some real damage right now, and, uh, we do a 4 negate, so we could pop at ease, it's no problem. Even if you janky stop the Cerberus, Cerberus could literally just attack one of our cards, and that would be a problem. So, he goes Jackal, we're gonna negate it with Vortex, uh, because you, the Cerberus will still be, lead problems, and he has 4 cards left in his hand. Uh, we have 2 negates, uh, he can't do another Turbo card except Chrono, we're completely good, we, we can't lose this at the moment. Yeah, you could Black Fang bring out the Jackal, but it's a completely irrelevant because uh, Cerberus could destroy, attack over the Negates. Jackal cannot. So uh, we're good. Zero Harmonizing. There's really nothing you can do at this point. And he's playing the best deck against me, but four Interruptions. No deck can deal with four Interruptions. And boom, Persona Dragon is going to stop the Electrum. And just like that, we win. Uh, like I said, Janky, the fourth Interruption is always not needed, but just more like style points and of an Overkill to guarantee the victory. But I'd, all, I'd always rather have more cards in hand because if they could break through four interruptions, they could, uh, if they could break through three interruptions, they could probably break through four. That makes sense. Like, their hand must be absolutely broken for them to be able to do that. And uh, so that's why I'd rather cards in hand. Like, in the next turn, we're going to start with five cards. Literally, like, the card you draw, that's three. Bambuku's going to give you a fourth card because you're going to search for another Bambuku. Old Dragon's going to give you another card from the extra. Like, that's five cards exactly. So, like, you're starting with five cards like you're playing a whole new hand. Like, you're starting up with the opening hand. So... This is a new Pendulum combo. Uh, it's uh, 
Just a completely average first turn, leads to four inter interruptions. Utilize Tornado Dragon to pop the Black Bind to bring out a Janky. And just another free interruption. You can even, if you don't have access to level 7s, you can go into Naruto. Uh, or another thing I was thinking is going to Naruto, Ebon Illusion, bring out another level 7 Dark Spot Castle. So bring out, uh, uh, you're going to have to play like Dark Magician or something, but, or like, uh, whatever. Uh, you know, you can bring out, you can play Dragon Pit. You can play one Dragon Pit instead of uh, the second Janky, or play double Janky and Dragon Pit. Bring out a Dragon Pit, and just have level 7 on board. And then, uh, bring, uh, with, with because uh, there's going to be a jackal under the Naruto that you wanted to Ebon Illusion with, then you Tornado Dragon pop the even bring a Dragon Pulse doesn't matter. Then Tornado Dragon pop the Black Fang, bring out the jackal, and just to get you so much extra link materials for free. That makes sense. So there's a lot of plays. I'm going to be showing you guys more combos. I've been in the lab constantly the past 20 hours. I have crazy new combos to show for you guys. So this is combo number one. Combo number one of new pendulums Tornado pop Fang get janky four negates. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I know a lot of you guys are watching my videos. You're not even subscribed. Like, we have 20,000 views in one day, 12,000, 10,000 all in one day. I only have 11,000 subscribers. So I know a lot of you guys aren't even subscribed. So if you're not subscribed, you watch my videos. Do your boy a favor and make, account, make an account if you don't have one and subscribe to your boy. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let's get uh, 1,000 likes for this one. Let's get 1,000 likes. Hope you guys enjoy the video, guys. More coming. See you guys in the next video. Peace.